I am so excited about today's segment. I wanted to share with you a couple of my favorite springtime vegetables. And uh, these preparations are so easy and so delicious. So let's start with asparagus. Oh, I love asparagus. You know, I remember when I was a kid, my mother would send me out to uh, gather asparagus along the ditches. And it was a job I loved to do because I love asparagus. And uh, you know, nowadays we pay what, five, six, seven dollars a pound? Woo! But it is worth it and we're going to prepare it deliciously. So it will be worth every penny. When you do bring the bunch home, you do need to give them a rinse, especially the tips. Because if, if dirt is going to collect, it usually collects at the top. Okay, and um, let me do the other half. Those look good. All right. Now, if you have worked with fresh asparagus before, you know that the bottoms are tough. You can't, generally, you can't eat all the way to the bottom. Although these are looking pretty good. I'm still going to cut off a couple of inches. I'll save these for some stock. And... Um, I have to show you something. I don't know if my granddaughter showed me this or if I saw it online, but another way to um, get rid of those tough ends is just to snap them. And they will snap at the point of where the toughness ends and the tenderness begins. Isn't that cool? This would be a great job for one of the children, I think. Wow. I love that. I think that's very cool. Okay. So once they're ready, if you want to take the time, you could dry them. I'm going to um, dry vegetables. When you're roasting vegetables, uh, the oil sticks better to the vegetable when it's dry. And I'm going to dry these, just pat them, with one of my food towels. And you may say, well, what makes these towels food towels? These towels have been run through the uh, rinse cycle twice. Um, detergents are notorious for leaving smells on fabric and cloths. And so um, when you double rinse them, you get rid of those potentially uh, dangerous detergent tastes. You don't want them to transfer to food. So that's why I have food towels. All right, let's lay these in the pan. Huh. That was, it was easy to this point, and now it's, it's even easier. We are going to, uh, I'm just going to get some regular oil and uh, give a quick drizzle there. And I'm going to, we're going to do sort of an Asian version, I think. So I'm just drizzling a little bit of Sesame Street on the, Sesame Street, <laughs> I love that. Sesame oil over these two. And I'm just going to, sort of roll them in the oil. That's nice. And I'm trying to keep them all pointing the same direction just because oh, it makes it easier to transfer to the plate and I think it looks pretty when you serve them all at attention in the right, right way. So, okay, we've got that. Maybe a little bit, oh, here's my salt. A little bit of salt. Okay, and that's it. These are going to the oven. I'm taking them to a 450 oven, 425, 450, hot oven. These are going to probably cook anywhere between five and 10 minutes. If they were really, really skinny, under five minutes. But I think these are going to probably take, I don't know, seven or eight minutes. But we're taking them to the oven, popping them in, and we'll set the timer, just so we can remember. Let's start with five minutes, all right. So while those are cooking, Roger, come around here and let's, um, oh wait, no, I actually, I forgot about something. Come back. The second vegetable we're doing is spinach. Come over here, would you, Roger? Thank you. Sorry to move you around a little bit. Um, I love fresh spinach. In fact, fresh spinach is easier to prepare than frozen spinach, if you can believe that. And it's, it's, it's hard to know how much spinach to buy uh, for your group. I have 12 ounces, I have about 12 ounces of spinach here, 
And generally for a vegetable portion, you need three or four ounces per person. So technically, this spinach should feed three or four people because we've got the 12 ounces. Oh, I remember years ago when the only way you could buy spinach was in those bunches and it had roots and clumps of dirt on, on the, uh, each of the bunches. Oh, so tedious to clean. And nowadays you can just buy it in bulk and it's all clean and dried and, and um, or buy it in the salad section, pre-bagged. Anyway, spinach is super easy. So we've got this. Um, now you can come around, Roger, okay? Come this way. And um, I've got a saute pan heating over here. All right. I just put in a little oil. I think I'll add a little bit of butter, too. I'm going to turn the, crank the heat up a bit. Now that was, I may have overdone it on the, the butter, but what's done is done. I guess I, I could technically pour out just a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're back. I thought, being a sucker for Asian flavors, <laughs> I thought we'd do the spinach uh, Asian style with a few sliced, thinly sliced, sliced shiitake mushrooms and red peppers. Okay? So we will put those in there. And because they take longer to cook than the spinach, we're just going to give them a minute or two in the pan and let them brown up a bit. And you'll notice, you don't really have to stir them, but you'll notice that they will shrivel up, they'll shrink as they cook, and that's because they're losing moisture, and so they, you know, contract like that. Now, if you wanted, if you didn't want to do it in Asian style, you could just put olive oil in here, maybe a little garlic if you wanted, and uh, add your spinach, and you just have a very simple, simple spinach. You could add herbs if you wanted to, basil, anything that you like. Spinach is super flexible. So, this is looking good. All right. So, those have a nice head start on the cooking. Now what we're going to do is add the spinach. And you may say, how is she ever going to fit, <laughs> fit all the spinach in this pan? Well, it shrinks. It shrinks a lot. So, we'll just, you know, a handful at a time. Add it. There we go. All right. Good. This is looking nice. So you can tell already that it's starting to collapse. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. So here's a thought. If you wanted to do a creamed spinach, you would go through this process just like we did and probably just add, at the, once it's all shrunk down, you would probably add about a fourth a cup of heavy cream and voila, you know, taste for salt and pepper and then you'd have your creamed spinach. If you wanted to do a creams, creamed spinach Asian style, you could do exactly what we're doing with some Asian vegetables. And then, ooh, I think this would be so good. You could take coconut milk and use it as your creaming agent. Wouldn't that be delicious? You could add maybe some curry paste or uh, I don't know, whatever you like. I just think that's a great idea. Let's let that sit for a minute. Let's check our oven and um, the asparagus and see how it's doing. I'm just touching, it's, they're still a little firm. So let's give them another five minutes or so. Set the timer again, let them cook. Let's come back here. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Where's my salt? Here we go. And um, so what more could we do to this to make it even more Asian-y? 
we could add some soy sauce, right? You know, and of course, soy sauce is salty, so you want to make, woo, make sure we're not over salting beforehand. This would be a good time to add like hoisin sauce or sweet chili sauce. Or if you wanted it to be a little spicy, you could do red pepper flakes. There are a lot of great possibilities when you're doing it um, in that style. So we'll let that. It's still a little wet. I don't know if you can see, but there's still a little liquid coming from the spinach. So we're going to let it continue to let that water continue to evaporate. Let's taste it for salt, shall we? Ooh. Hmm. Actually, I think that's that's pretty good. Let's leave it there. Okay, I'm sp spreading it around just so there are little pockets for that to that liquid to evaporate. All right, we're done here. Um, did you notice I was using squirt bottles? They are so handy for those just measured and very controlled amounts of oil that you might need for something. Let me put our scale back. And let's get ready to plate these. So we will use this pretty little bowl for our spinach. Let's see. Ah, oh, good. It's, um, it's dry now. Let's turn the heat off. But isn't it wonderful to have quick sides like this? Sometimes other components of the meal can be a little more involved, but it's just nice to have a quick vegetable. Now, as I'm looking at these, ooh, I did have a little less than 12 ounces. But as I'm looking at the spinach, I think that's, that's, um, that's probably more in the line of uh, two servings there. So, so, you know, it takes a lot to, to fill a bowl and a big pan to start with. Let's just put some sliced almonds on top just as a sort of a finishing. And that's ready. Yum, yum. And let's take a look at our asparagus. Here we go. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's talking to us. And yes, when I touch them, they're just the, little, the smallest um, bit tender. So that is exactly what you want. Okay, and I'll get my tongs out again. Oops. And let's take, let's take these. And we'll just set them on our plate, on our platter. Oops. Oh, aren't they lovely? I just mm, love asparagus. Whoops. And since we did Asian, I'm going to garnish the... Oh, <laughs> got butter fingers tonight. All right, with a little bit of... With a few sesame seeds. Very nice. Okay. Ready for the table. Quick and easy. Two delicious springtime vegetables.